try a little bit later. We got 53 packs that open, so that's exciting. All right, let's get our draft going. So what is up, everyone? I'm Jedi, and we are back for another Flames of Zolta 2.0 draft here. And uh, cracking this one open, we have Combust Dragon Breath and Learned Herbalist on the common slot. Nothing else really shouting out to me. Uh, Shingen Captain is all righty, but Cover Fire Marksman is just so hot. Cover Fire Marksman is absolutely wonderful. Love having double damage both on a unit as well as slapping it on something else, and then it comes back later that we could potentially pump. So I'm digging that. We're going to go ahead and take the Cover Fire Marksman here. Follow up plays. We have Polymorph, Display of Honor, and Streets of Flames. I really like Streets of Flames. Uh, it, half of those are from uh, the ECQ though, Wolvie. So it was uh, my consolation plies for the ECQ. So we'll see. Uh, Streets of Flames would be the safer pick here and I would be perfectly happy taking it as well as Polymorph, but Display of Honor is quite strong and it combos really well with our Barksman considering we can give it plus four, plus four and lifesteal. So it deals 12 and lifesteal. So yeah, we'll take the Display of Honor here. Hedge, you know, be a little, be a little aggressive. Uh, looking here, not uh, let's see, we have Learned Herbalist, we have Terax Hatchling, and that's pretty much about the only thing that's really pulling me into those colors. There is also Grandfather Axe, but I'm a little lower on it in this format because of all the science effects. So I think it's between Learned Herbalist and Terax Hatchling, and I like Hatchling. I think having two evasive units off of one card is quite powerful. Uh, we are listening to an hour and a half of epic game music. Tristan. Oh, no worries at all, Wolvie. Did you play in the ECQ, Wolvie? So yeah, we'll snag the Hatchling here. Uh, Stronghold Vandal seems kind of strong. I like that. There's also the placed Aroctodon. So, Aroctodon will go with our TRX Hatchling, and Stronghold Vandal will go with our Cover Fire Marks on our display. So, we'll take a Vandal here. I like the ability to destroy a curse or something like that, potentially. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take Vandal. I think it's a pretty safe pick here. Uh, not seeing too much that we're really excited about here. Uh, there's Wisdom of the Elders, and there's Oath Keeper's Hammer, are pretty much the two big ones. Uh, I can see an argument as well for Wisdom of the Elders. So uh, both these kind of go with our display slash fire picks. So <clears throat> I think we can take a Wisdom. Sure, we'll snag, we'll snag a Wisdom here and just potentially get some card advantage later on. Uh, we see Ruination Sledge as well as Amber Acolyte. So this is starting to make me feel like time might be a little open. So I'm glad we took a, a Primal card, so I'll probably end up taking the Amber Acolyte here. Display might not be something that we end up playing. I do like Ruination Sledge quite a bit, but we did pick up the Cover Fire Marksman. Mm. Yeah, we'll take the Amber Acolyte. Keep us a little bit open here. We have Mute, we have Yeti, Snow Slinger, and then we also have Token. So we'll pick up Token. Token hits every color that we have right now. So I kind of like that. We'll, we'll take the fixing this early. Uh, oh, not at all. Slowly learning how Eternal Meta shifts work and slowly trying to build up a decent deck. Oh, nice, Wolvie. Yeah, it comes with time. It comes with time. But if you are drafting, you will build a collection a lot quicker than you think. That's how I got most of my cards was through drafting. Uh, not really... None of these cards are really exciting to us, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I could see a small world where we take Lens of Clarity, but I'm not really excited about that. Manufacturer could potentially be a pick as well. Yeah, I guess we can always take the Manufacturer. In case we end up being stone to... Oh, sweet. There we go. That's a good pickup for us. There is a Static Bolt. So, uh, we could potentially be seeing some Yetis, but I like Rebel Sharpshooter. It goes good with our weapons and things like that. So, we'll snag the Sharpshooter here. Uh, yeah, we'll pick up the Learned Herbalist here. Doesn't look like we're going to be playing Justice, so Display of Honor might have to go unless we're able to splash it later. So we'll take the Learned Herbalist and Granite Coin. Sweet pickup for us. Anytime we're able to get a little bit of additional reach out of our power is great because it's not taking up a card slot in our deck. Uh, Iceberg Frontrunner, not really where we want to be. Alright, let's see if we end up 
are able to put Praxis together in pack two. Uh, we see Immortalize, we see Longtail Cavern, we see Intrepid Longhorn, Green Stretch Empath. So a lot of good shenanigans going on here in a premium Mage Breaker. Uh, let's go ahead and take the Mage Breaker. It's just an okay weapon. It's not super exciting, but it is a removal spell for three. Goes with our primary color. It's premium. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, passing the Empath would be a little bit rough, but we really don't have anything quite yet to trigger that muster ability. So I'm willing to pass it for right now. We'll take the Mage Breaker here. See what we got going on. Uh, we're seeing Inflict Conscience. We're seeing uh, Kodosh Evangel. Rolls Choice and a Skyfire Hellkite. We'll snag the Skyfire Hellkite. Uh, just it looks like we're going to be able to get fire both ways, which is fun. They did take a rare here, which means all these picks are kind of really not good signs because who knows what they took the rare. Sandy, I am a fan of epic music. The soundtrack to Last of the Mohicans or Legend of the Fall spring to mind. Yeah, yeah, I can believe that. What's up, John Holio? Metachlorians. Yeah, you know it. We went live thanks to your suggestion. So thank you so much, buddy. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Skyfire Hellkite here. And looks like Praxis is where we're going to be. So, sweet. Yeah, we'll pick up a Spike Tail Karen. That's a fantastic two drop for our deck. Uh, passing on potentially a Fervent Siphoner and a Grodoff Evangel. But uh, yeah, I, I like where we're at taking Spike Tail. Looks like we're firmly in. There's a Inflict Content and Post Celotize, but go ahead and take the Edict here. I like Edict. I think having at least one of these in our deck is going to do some value. The Edict of Grodoff is pretty solid because it can bounce a spell as well as a unit, potentially sending it to the bottom of the deck being, oh, excuse me, removal. So yeah, we're going to snag that bad boy. Uh, so a lot of shadow. It looks like Xenon's what's open this pack, but we saw pretty clear cuts to fire. So I think we're going to be good with that. Uh, still not sure if we are going to be playing the Hatchling and the Wisdom. Not yet. Uh, so we'll take the Swaying Sea Kieran here over Skyhorror Draconis. Though I can easily see a world where we do take the Draconis. Uh, we'll pick up another Swaying Sea Kieran. Uh, yeah, and then a Grappler. Yeah, that's a great top end for us. Uh, we haven't been seeing any of the Wizen Crone, so I'm glad we didn't take it that Static Bolt. Desperate Gambit is another consideration. I do like Gambit. The fact that we could decimate it in a pinch to give us two combat tricks is a good way to blow out our opponent because most people are going to play around one. It's very difficult to play around two. So, oh, Chastity and Sandy, you guys are great. We'll take Grappler here, snag up as many of them as we can. There's Metal, there's Slayer's Edge, there's Inflict Conscience, and there's uh, Desperate Gambit. So all kinds of shenanigans going on here. Uh, we're going to take the Slayer's Edge. Uh, I think it's just premium removal. Five damage, even for five and limited, is pretty solid. It kills a lot of things in the format. So we'll go ahead and take the Slayer's Edge here, especially since it was such a late pick. Uh, once again, we're seeing a lot of fire go by. Uh, we're at 11, 11 units right now. I'm kind of okay holding off on the Relentless Combatant. Um, we have no real way of pumping it, minus the Cover Fire Marksman. We're going to take the evangel just in case we end up uh potentially playing justice there's a greed's reward and he's faithful i guess we can take the greed's reward blood of Makar, okay and chant to grow it off which i'm not excited about i'm not personally a big fan of that card uh let's see if we get some reward all right so oh man i just want to take this whole pack guys i'm not even gonna lie metal draw strength grappler grow favor and dramatic exit this deck is doing stuff and things. Hey, Mercurio, good to see you, friend. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna snag Grodoz Favored. Like, if we splash Justice, it would be for draw strength. That's a good card. I like having a bunch of grapplers, but Grodoz Favored is just a good way to make sure we don't die, as well as being a good beater. So we'll snag Grodoz Favored here. All right, immediately game rewarded with the follow-up grappler. So yay, there is a Soul's Fury as well as... I don't think we're really the high profit of Soul deck, even though that card is quite powerful. Um, we're seeing... what else? Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm definitely glad we didn't take that Green Stretch Empath. I don't really see the support that we would have expected for the muster. So yeah, we're going to snag the champion grappler here. Out of the rest of your, sorry, I haven't been keeping up with Discord, uh, Mercurio. Like between work and then school, I just don't have the time. So I do apologize. Like I know you guys have been talking a lot. I wanted to contribute, I really have, but I just haven't been able to keep up. So I do apologize for that. But I hope you've been having a really solid conversation. 
Uh, here we have Horn, we have Toto, we have Colt Recruiter. Uh, I don't necessarily hate Recruiter or Tota here, but I actually think I'm gonna snag up the Warhorn. We're at 13 units already. We have one cover fire marksman. We have a sharpshooter. We have some guys that don't mind carrying the horn. So we'll pick up the horn here. Yeah, I think it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh don't think we want to take another edict here, especially with the Grodoff favorite in the pack. So we're just gonna snag the Grodoff's favorite here. Nothing very exciting. Uh, deck is slowly coming together. Uh, we could pick up another Hellfire, Hellkite, but I really don't like having two of this guy. Four is quite vulnerable. Uh, we could pick up another Swing Sea Kieran. We could pick up a Sword. Sword is actually okay in this deck considering Cover Fire Marksman as well as Rebel Sharpshooter and some Grapplers. Um, and we're picking it up pretty late. Where's our curve at? We have one, two, three four five threes so yeah i don't think we need another swaying seeker in so it's between sword and ancient manual and we have a little bit of beef going on so yeah we'll take the sword here dragon forge and emblem of grodoff that's actually interesting because our dragon our dragon forge can get our hellkite as well as our mage breaker our sword our warhorn so there's plenty of targets for our dragon forge to go get but once again, like you guys heard me talk about earlier, anytime we are able to add an additional spell to our deck at the cost of essentially free because it comes with power, I think is quite strong. Yeah, Merc, I like I I think you're awesome, Mercurio. I think you're absolutely fantastic. So yeah, we'll go ahead and snag the emblem of Grodoff over the Dragon Forge. I think it just Oh, sweet. Yep. I uh, will take another grappler here. Be a little greedy. There is the... Oh, man. The option to get Ruse's Choice is kind of hot as well. Um, so let's go ahead and move the Terriax. Cut the Terriax. Cut the Display. And cut the Wisdom. We'll look later on in our deck and see if we even have to play them. But we'll take another grappler here. And I think our top end is going to be pretty well off. Uh, I just like having additional pressure. Uh, I don't quite think we're gonna be uh, we didn't see a lot of justice in pack one So I'm not gonna take long here here. We're gonna just go ahead and stick to the tried and true pick up the cult recruiter We don't have a four so it helps just round out our curve uh, Take the soul fear here. All right, there we go. There's a little extra removal Five six drops. That seems like way too many. Nah, nah, spiffy. We'll get there. Not with these. These are like the beef This is the beef trust me It'll, it'll work out We got this we got this We could take the Inflict Conscience for additional removal. Uh, probably be correct. Uh, we'll probably take the Fixing, actually. I just don't see us really uh, doing much with these cards. Torture, all right. All right, let's see what we got going on here, guys. So we have a Tantrum. We have... Ooh, ooh. That's spicy. We could potentially just take... Well, this... Mm, never mind, never mind. I was like, oh, it could help us play our display, but the problem is is that both Justice and, yeah, I, I don't think we're playing display as gangster as display would have been. Uh, I could still see the argument for this because then it gives us the option to open up uh, Primal that gives us access to Wisdom of the Elders and Terriax. So that might be a consideration. Uh, what do we look at? Tantrum is two damage cleanly. Uh, we also have Mining Team. Uh, think we also have an acolyte so what would we be splashing for the hunt and terriax uh, i kind of like that honestly especially picking up a horn coin is fine or tantrum it's solid yep what's up pachi it's good to see you hey revels in fear the gang slowly coming together five sixes and sevens i love it yeah but that's about as high as we want to go wolvie it gets to a point now where we're gonna have diminishing returns our deck's a little hot top heavy but um i think we might just want to take yeah i think we're where's our interaction at so we have souls fury and an edict and then attachments so yeah i think we'll go ahead and snag the tantrum here just no need to get greedy um terry axe is fine hatchling but i think we're okay if we just play straight praxis all right so here we're looking at hellfire oni which is actually really good with both sword and warhorn because it puts double of them Oh, actually, we might have to display take the the uh, display to Rockdodon here, actually, because our two drops are one, two, three. We only have three two drops. 
Uh, we only have one four drop as well, but it, it's kind of a niche. You know what I mean? We already have a four cost three three in the form of cult recruiter. And we do have two solid targets for Hellfire Oni, but I'm not hell broken if we don't do it. So we're gonna go ahead and take the Aroctodon here. Yep, and Pachi agrees, so sweet, yep. Uh, Horn, don't think we have any Overwhelm. So we have we have three Overwhelms, so that's one way. Oh, cuz, what, Enrouch, what is up, buddy? Enrouch coming in with 384 strong raid. Let's get some hype in chat for Enrouch. Oh man, you're ending your stream a little early today, buddy. How'd it go? Welcome, one and all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Jedi, host of the Eternal Journey podcast. We're doing some drafting tonight in Flames of Zolta version 2.0. I hope you're ready for a little bit at limited action. What's up, Cassandra? Good to see you. Like you messaged, you messaged, you said something right when I saw the raid. Uh, someone just lmd or lm demasi thank you so much for the follow welcome nick made a top 20 of mono mischief yetis yes yes that is awesome congratulations enrout you're such a fantastic player what cassandra what emo is that barb raid that is awesome yeah thank you guys so much um so we're it's an interesting pick here we can take our Omni omnivorous vorlunk for the removal slash unit and then there's also sharpshooter that carries both of our weapons quite well um we are missing a little bit of interaction like we talked about earlier so i think there is a strong consideration to take vorlunk i'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, sharpshooter is a solid body but i like the ability to be able to kill things just in case to make sure we can clear the air for our big guys to get in there so we'll take vorlunk here uh, there's another hatchling, but Streets of Flames, we were just talking about our lack of interaction, so I like Streets of Flames. Being able to clean up our draw steps as well as get a relevant body off the board or off the board at fast speed is outstanding. Man, it's so good to see you, Enrouch. Went well, played some limited myself, 8-2 in the league this week, then 7-2 and two into top 20 with Feln Yetis. Feln Yetis, no kidding. Well, that's exciting. Enrouch, you are awesome, man. Barbarous King Mario Maker. Oh, got you. See, I have no experience with Mario Maker at all, which is probably good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and snag up Streets of Flames here. Uh, let's see, so Sharpshooter, all right, we'll snag that bad boy up. So we're still lacking a little bit in the twos, but at least our threes are starting to come up. They might be able to pick up the slack. We also have an Acolyte to make sure we get to our top end. So we'll pick up the Sharpshooter here. Uh, mining team, there you go. That's a great pickup for us. We'll be able to play it now. Granted, it doesn't block on two, but we're able to play it on two should we need to. Now we can also play on four warp. It's not a great unit by itself, but the fact that you can play it on two, you can warp it, and you can play it on four, and it scouts makes it quite flexible and increases its power. Uh, there's also, ooh, actually, you know what? Hmm, Sauropod Wrangler is a two two for two that does make our we have how many units for one six units that makes cheaper. It is a little bit of a consideration, actually. <laughs> all right, all right, Pachi, got it. That's so awesome, man. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna experiment probably offline if I have time. I want to play around with the Yetis. Like you've totally rekindled my my appreciation for Yetis. Uh, nothing really here exciting for us. So uh, we'll just probably bin the synchronized strikes. Uh, nothing here as well. Take the coin. War painter, sweet. All right, there we go. Sweet, so we're a little unit heavy. Uh, Hot blood barbarian, one, two, three, four, five, two drops. Not really the biggest fan of barbarian. Uh, I don't think there's anything I would cut for it, honestly. Uh, we'll take it, but don't see us really playing it. Uh, there's a coin to potentially play our hatchlings, but I don't think this deck needs to. There's no reason to get three color. Oh, and a journey armor, yeah, all right. So the practice was definitely what we were supposed to be at, guys. I watch Mario Mook as well as Zelda streams a lot. Oh, no kidding. I mean, I probably would, but I, I the little bit of stream time I get to watch people, I typically just lurk in, in Eternal Streamers stuff. So that's where I end up Excellent. being. The mind control mm -hmm. device is nearing completion. Texo, Texugo? Texugo Primey. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Eternal Journey, friend. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. 
Did I miss anyone? No, it's just the, the two. Man, thank you so much, Enrouch, for the raid. That is awesome. I have to check it out. I've seen a couple like clips on YouTube and stuff, but I have never sat down and just watched um, watched uh, the Mario Maker thing. I feel like it's a rabbit hole. I really don't want to dive down, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's see, guys. We got to make some cuts. I think Soul's Fury can go now. Um, we just don't have a lot of units that I'm comfortable sacking. Uh, and plus, we have plenty of interaction now that we picked up the Streets of Flame. We have Edict. We have Tantrum. We have Sword. So I think things are looking quite good. Let's see what happens if we just jam. Uh, do we need this? Yeah, I like it. It's slow, but it's still fixing. Uh, let's add some power. Oh, wow. Um, I, I, I feel like this deck wants to run... 18 power we do have a acolyte so does that count if not what would we cut here probably honestly for me i would probably cut recruiter like the cards just underperformed for me but it could also be war painter i could see that as well we're very heavy on threes but war painter is good you always like having inspire targets or inspire uh, armor is a little less impactful, but it still has warp, so the fact that it could draw us a card makes it relevant. God, can you imagine if we get to uh, cover fire a marksman, a grappler, or a hellkite? That's living the dream. Is sword greedy? I don't think sword is greedy since we have double sharpshooter and a uh, cover fire marksman. Keyboard painter, we're pointer is great with grappler, I agree. I'm heading to bed. Take care. All right. Thank you so much for swimming by, Cassandra. I really appreciate it, friend. It's always good to see you. Congratulations again on making partner. I I would like to pick your brain about that later on if you don't mind. Maybe tomorrow sometime. But thanks for swimming by. Have a good night, friend. Uh, I've been watching Andy for ages. My pleasure. Enjoy your streams. Oh, thanks. That's mighty kind of you, Enrach. You're great. Gosh, this community is so awesome. I am so glad I found Eternal. So glad. Mm-hmm. Good call, John Holo. Very good call. The fact that it does also combo with our sharpshooters. I'm trying to think where our cut's at. I really do want to run AT power this deck. I really do. Is it sword? Hmm. Where's the cut? I don't want to cut Hellkite because I want to have at least one evasive unit to close out the game. Should we get into those positions where he's board stall? uh slayer's edge i count as a removal spell tantrum will help us get there man where's our oh well we are at 21 units we are a little heavy on units so is it a kirin then do we cut a kirin is that where we're at i think it might be a kirin you could cut a kirin oh there you go not zyrath <laughs> Uh, I like I like Slayer's Edge, Kid Plumber. You just have to not expect it to do a lot of work. Like, I don't worry about the draw treasures. I think that's just gravy. And I don't expect it to be a two for one. I just like it as clean, almost like an eviscerate. And it's worked out pretty well for me. I like it. As long as I've played with it like that. Uh, yeah, I like cutting a Kirin. I think cutting a Kirin, it's the least impactful card in our deck, honestly. Uh, we're at one, two, three, four, five, two drops. So that's about where we want to be. Yeah, we can cut it, Karen. We're very heavy on three, so I think that's fine. And let's go with, let's see where our power base is at right now. I think we're actually in a really good spot power-wise. Let's see, so double time, double time, and then double fire. Eh, this is kind of late. I don't really see us using it at three. Yeah, so let's see, we have seven, eight, nine, and eight sources. So we could go an even split. Uh, nah, we're gonna go one extra time because I want to have the op the greatest opportunity to uh, to decimate Emblem of Grodoff and get an extra unit. So yeah, this deck seems solid. Let's go ahead and run it, which makes me feel like we're gonna go like one and three. Thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. You guys are rocking it. All right, guys, I like this. This is solid. We have a. Uh, we could technically go turn one, two. I think we can wait a little bit on the Vandal. So we're going to go turn two. Uh, yeah, I like this. I think this is solid. We'll keep this. You guys are fantastic. Happy holidays, Brick Razor. Uh, did I miss anyone when we raided earlier? I'm sorry, guys. Like, so many things happen at the same time. If I missed anyone, I do apologize. Marvin, Texo, LM, Demasi. Okay, cool. What's up, Breezox? 
Three zooks. Uh, oh man, that's right where we want to see it, right? Okay, uh, let's just play our time and we could, yeah, we're just gonna wait and play it on two. We'll play it on two, then we'll play the journeyman on three. I like that. Uh, this is good too, because then we can also just keep playing time as well. So I like that. We'll scout. No sense in shifting. And. Um, yeah, you know what? Our deck is very power hungry. I think I'm okay leaving Acolyte on top. It gives us another blocker. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on top. Gives us some more fodder. Sir Thanos, what is up, buddy? Ooh, I like the new emotes. How'd your stream go, Marvin? What'd you end up doing tonight? Rizzo. Oh, okay. Got you. Fair enough. I, I'm still getting, I'm trying to get better at names. I like that Pachi. Armor journeyed too fast. Yeah, fair, fair. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong, friend. Uh, and since our late game is so strong, I think we can hold off a little bit. Uh, oh, would it be great if they just dropped the uh, spell shaper here? Ooh. Nah, we can wait on that. Let's. What's the best use of our power? Best use of our power would be to play sword here. Um, but I don't like that. Let's go ahead and just look for power. Uh, let's see. We'll grab our other justice. We already have our double fire. So we'll do that. And uh, don't think we need to attack just yet. Yeah, because we just trade for the outlook. So we'll send it back. What's up, Sammy? How are you feeling, Sammy? In before cult recruiter. Yeah. Uh, really dislike the old living example. That's fine. Uh, well, there you go. There's a removal spell. Yeah, I think I'm okay getting rid of the living example. Uh, ooh, and we can spellcraft it. Nice value. Let's go. Well, time to try and tackle draft. All right, Wolvie, let me know how it goes. If you need any help, by all means, definitely use the uh, definitely use the um, Discord. Post it in the limited, and other people can talk about. It. Yeah, this is draft Rizzo. Well, I hope you feel better soon, Sammy. No one likes being sick. Yeah, let's go ahead and just check what we're working with: Static Bolt, Metal, and Cairo's Choice. Uh, let's. Well, they can't play Cairo's Choice. But I think I still think Cairo's Choice is a little scarier, it being a fast spell. So yeah, we'll still take the Cairo's Choice. Uh, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and deal with the Living Example. I just don't want them to get a bunch of buffs. Sadly, that's a little awkward here. Uh, there is a world, I guess, where we attack here to potentially trade with something. But I'd rather try to get a 2 for 1 off it than just a clean 1 for 1. Right? Uh, so we'll send it back. Actually, you know what? I should have attacked there. Uh, at least with this one, because then it starts to clear the way for our grappler to get in. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's see. If we attack with our grappler, they could just double block. I mean, we do take out two things, though, so that is a consideration. I think we could try to whittle the board a little bit. Let's attack and see what happens. Because if this grappler can get in once, we could slap sword on it. We could also just play the grappler. I think I might do that. If this gets in there and no damage is dealt, our opponent's also stuck on four. Okay, that's not horrible. Uh, and we could totally decimate here. And we'll play grappler for full. Ugh, double? Alright, so we got a bunch of flyers coming our way. Good news is the fact that we're gonna have Grodov's Edict up means that there's a good chance that we might actually be able to get like a two for one here. There's also a, a world where we just slap sword. So if we slap sword, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, well shoot, we just go Warhorn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. This will put it at seven. Yeah, I like that. There's a, also an argument for putting 
Warhorn here, but I mean, why not? It's gonna get a plus one, plus two, plus two. Yeah, I think this is money. Let's go ahead and jam here. Love the podcast, by the way. Thank you so much, Sammy. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, so close to being able to buy my second campaign, 4.7 thousand gold off. Also, in the past two days, I've obtained two premium meme legendaries. No kidding, Rebels. That is fantastic. Oh, hey oh. There you go. Boom. Mage Blade doing some work, baby. Uh, we'll do. I'll keep popping in on here. Also, my Discord username is sign on for those that have been seen me. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect, Wolvie. Yeah, I have seen you in there. I meant to talk a lot. I was telling uh, Mercurio earlier today. I was trying to get uh, a little more interaction in there, but I was at school today, so I wasn't able to talk as much. But congratulations on almost getting your next uh, campaign, Rebel. Uh, we're fine making some trades here. I think we could take six. Good double block here. I don't think I want them to get the snowball, so we'll just do this. They might also be throwing in the towel. We'll see what's going down here. Okay, our opponent got very aggressive. Um, man, we could just put the nail in the coffin, but I feel like they could have a bounce spell, so I really don't want to put sword here. Uh, let's see, do we want to jam? I mean, sword does give us, is it lethal? Sword is lethal. Hmm. Sword is lethal. We could put sword here and still give us two. Okay. All right. Sweet. Um. Oh man, this hand would have been the nuts if this was. Uh. Nope. We're not gonna keep it. We're missing. We're missing time. Uh, and a third power. So we're gonna go ahead and send this back. We are on the draw, so there's a consideration for it, but okay, this is this is way more playable. Um, yeah, I can see us dropping Vandal on two, and then three, four. Yeah, we'll keep this. We're gonna go ahead and play our coin. Uh, sometimes you get value out of it, sometimes you don't, but see how aggressive our opponent is. Oh, well now, man. Do I wanna get greedy? Kinda do, not gonna lie. I think the fact that we can kill that. Oh, that's kind of tempting. That's really tempting because we could play the herbalist. That is very tempting. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a little greedy because we have another two. So on, we could play this on two, then on three, play this and coin. So I'm going to do it. Uh, what do we want to ship here? I feel like we definitely want to hit our power, so I definitely want to... Since we drew Herbalist, I'd be greedy. Yeah, Pachi. Jedi, have you ever thought about including new players on the podcast from time to time? Yes, I have, Sammy, actually. If you go back to, like, episode 4 or 5, a friend of mine that started playing uh, came in as well. Uh, I guess the right play would be the Grappler. It's crazy, because of all these cards, I kind of want to actually pitch the Vandal. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to pitch the van. I'm just going to be extra greedy. We're just going to be slightly power efficient next turn. I hope that doesn't bite us in the butt. What would be bad if they don't attack? All right, that's fine. We'll take it. Play. Oh, okay, all right. We might get some value here. Ooh. Do I just... Huh. Huh. Because we can attack and play coin nah I'm gonna streets that make sure we get power all right uh no I don't think we want that now we're gonna bottom that I'm gonna get in for two to make sure they attack again and then now we have options of where we can vorlunk something else yeah I like that play I like I think that's the more value play we're taking a little bit more damage than we wanted to there was a world where we attack for two, and then if they block, we can coin that, and if not, we just coin this, but I think that was fine. Hey, what's up, Papa Capricorn? Papa Capricorn, I had no idea you managed Shiftstone. I was, I've was i been pushing your website a bunch. I even did a podcast on your, on your website. I had no idea you ran it. So yeah, shout out to Papa Capricorn, which probably means you should get VIP status for running one of the best eternal resources. 
So shout out to Papa Capricorn for uh, being a great resource for the community. Uh, this is great. This is an easy attack for us. I could easily see them not blocking. Uh, we're probably going to go ahead. Yeah, they block. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and play our power. Kill this. And then we'll just play our War Painter that can block. Yeah, I think we're in good shape now. Uh, we have six power in our hand, so most of our deck is turned on. Uh, our don't know our opponent didn't miss power yet. Yeah, for any of you guys, uh, for any of you guys that don't know, if you're ever hmm, what do we what do we lose here? What a, a street? Yeah, we could take one. I I was trying to figure out if I was willing to let them use the the trick or not. Um, yeah, let's just ramp. Do we have anything else to do with our power? No, I think I'm fine just ramping. That would be cool if War Painter punted pumped weapons. Yeah, I just like playing our spells here. So we will... We'll send it back. Uh, my bad. Uh, new player perspectives could be interesting, like how it takes to unlock certain things and whatnot. It's not a bad idea, Sarkarnan. You're not wrong there. Uh, but yeah, for those of you that don't know, if you ever have issues trying to figure out your power bases, shiftstoned.com has a... Uh, they have articles and great resources as well for Eternal, but the biggest thing I use them for is they have a uh, curve generator where you can plug in your deck, you can export your deck from the client, go to the go to their website, import it to their app, and hit, and it'll process, and it'll show you a chart showing you when you'll get, like for example, your double red influence, your double time influence based on your... Oh, this is great. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we can take two here. That's fine. Uh, that's a little awkward because we can't really charge him with Grappler, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. Uh, let's just get, I guess, triple now. It doesn't really matter. We can turn on. Oh, of course. That's great. Um, hmm. So let's get the two for one here. I like swinging here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So then what we're going to do is let's Vorlunk here. And so I'm not capitalizing. The only awkward thing about this is I'm not capitalizing about the unexpected results, which could be a thing but i like kind of just maximizing our plays here we're using all our power their board is clear this is going to get in so now we have a really good chance of getting it with grappler uh this thing is one away from yeah so we'll block see what they got going on here see if they have a follow-up play to kill our guy and just gives us a good cushion there might be a consideration for us not to attack with Grappler next turn to be able to block this and make sure it doesn't get bigger. Because that's when it starts to steamroll a little bit. We'll see what we top deck. Ooh, interesting. That's so sick. Uh, I just looked it up because you mentioned power. Yeah, EMP of Delta. It is an absolutely phenomenal resource. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, actually, this is... Uh, I'm going to leave this back because I want to keep our weapon up. I'm gonna leave this back. I'm gonna get ooh, and they have a fast spell. This is a little awkward. What could it be? Conflagrate? I think that's what's it. Conflagrate. Parry. Parry would. Parry would not kill our guy. Dragon breath. Oh, okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, and exhaust. All right. There you go. Our opponent's doing their thing. They're doing their thing. That's what's up. Well, sad part is... Oh, well, hello, friend. Uh, I kind of like just throwing sword on here, honestly, guys. Throwing sword, we block. Yeah, let's do that. Let's find out what that spell is now. So this guy's just huge. We'll silence their guy next turn. 
Yeah, they have to answer a 12-12. Seems good. Uh, such a great resource. It really is. So great job. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, that, uh, you should have ramped last turn. Could have played Grappler this turn. Got you, Pachi. Fair. Okay. Nice. That was good value on our opponent's side. Uh, oh, man. Sadly, they're not dead, but that's fine. See what their spell is. Uh, now I kind of don't want to silence that, to be honest with you guys. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Hmm. As overwhelm. Yeah, let's just guarantee. I, I won't silence it. I'll let them attack. So now they don't even have a blocker. I guess we'd be in trouble if they freeze. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got scared for a second. They started to do stuff. I thought we were in trouble. Oh god, Grappler's so good. Grappler's strong, friend. Grappler's strong. Uh, Gabriel. Hey, Sir Rhino. Uh, yeah, this is. It's a little clunky, just a wee bit. Um, we do have an answer on two, and then uh, that we could probably go cover fire marksman and then put the journeyman on him. I think we can do a little bit better, but I also think this hand is serviceable. So we'll keep it. Because we are on the draw. So there is a... Ah, it's a slow spell, though. I was going to say there's a world where we can tantrum their three drop. All right. Well, we can also tantrum their two drop. Oh, Akanta is good as well. Um, yeah, Akanta is just a wee bit slow, though. Nine is a lot. I like Akanta, but she is a slow. But yeah, a champion has never gone out of style. Jedi, is your draft pick list online? Or just on the podcast. Um, what do you, as far as my priority, like the the rating system, it is not online yet. Um, that's not a bad idea though. I should probably do it, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's such a yeah. Let's just do it. Yeah. No, I don't have the written version up anywhere. Popper Capper one. Yeah, I, I do not, but if you think I've gotten to the point in popularity now where I really should start doing it, then yeah, I can do it. Okay, so now we are going to throw our curve off a little bit. I'll explain to you guys why, because we're actually resetting our curve here. So I'm going to play the Kirin here on three, because then we're going to be able to go journey armor on the Kirin to make it a 3-3 three, three on four. And then on five, since we have the power, we'll be able to play cover fire marksman shifted here, making this six damage. Um, I like that a lot and then if they double block or try to get this guy off the board Then we have the option of either pumping it on turn six if they don't or playing the grappler after that So despite it throwing our curve off a little bit I think this is the more high value play and that's where we're going to adjust it I really appreciate that pop-up. Yeah, I, I still should have my ratings <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's still not bad. Like we don't get like the sweet spot. That's pretty funny, but it's okay We're still gonna stick to our plan And I'm gonna jam here just because there might be a world where they yeah, that's fine Okay, that's good Oof Oof. Uh, yeah, we're still going to be power efficient. We're going to double damage here. So we're going to play this. And I, I think I'm going to actually save the Warhorn for our Grappler again. So let's go ahead and double damage our Karen, And just swing here. If they want to use a spawn... All right, sweet. So they took six. That's a good sign for us. Let's see what their follow-up play is. Uh, I might put the double damage on the Exalted Power Guy now. The Exalted Power. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, that's not a bad line, Extinction. You're right. My bad. I saw it a little late. Ooh. I like this. Oh, man. That throws off our curve a little bit, but I think it's better leaving up Streets of Flame. Oh, that's so awkward. So, six power, they do anything. What are we looking at? I mean, we could be anything, right? I think we just jam again. And I'm actually going to hold off on power. 
We could pump this. Oh no, we can't. That's right. Um. <sighs> so awkward. Okay, well then, shoot. Decimate, and we'll play our big guy. There is a world where we shouldn't have decimated, because if we draw power, we can do both of these, but... That's convenient. That's fine, though. Oh, <laughs> we did draw power. Oh, that's funny. Uh, we're going to save the Warhorn for this guy, so... Let's jam again. Yeah, save Warhorn either for double damage here or for the elemental. Actually, it might be elemental. I think we might do that. So let's jam here, see what's up. See what the follow up play is. What's that doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. See how they block. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Kill the flyer. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we're just gonna play our dude, and I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, because they might think they have an extra blocker when they don't. Okay, sweet. We just took it down. Uh, there you go. There, there's that, that, that keen patience play. You just wait your opponent out. I'm a bit of a conservative player. Oh no, Spiffarific. I'm so sorry. Oh, what a bummer we have to play. Uh, all right, good luck if you're still in chat, friend. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, yeah, this hand is good. I like it. Two, three, we have some plays. We'll keep it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss something? I've been preaching it for a while now, but you have the best eternal podcast right now. No kidding. Oh, Brizo, that is amazing. Thank you so much for saying that. I really do appreciate that. Man, like, truly. I did not. Wow. Thanks. That's really kind of you. It says a lot because I feel like you're a franchise player. Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, uh, they beat us to the punch. Wow, that's a huge compliment considering there's such really good podcasts out there. I'm so sorry I missed that compliment earlier, Brizo. I didn't mean to. Um, no, that's well, fine. Uh, we hope this will make up for it. Yeah, that wasn't... That wasn't... Uh, I mean, there was an argument there to block. Maybe we should have blocked to throw off their Excellent. curve. The mind control device is nearing completion. Uh, Pook85, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Eternal Journey, friend. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Gotta make Jedi tear up over here. Impossible. I don't have tear ducts. I had them removed when I was younger. Alright. Use your trick, buddy. Oh, alright, cool. Well, that worked out well. <laughs> oh, God. We just gotta get to the top of our curve. I mean, how do we lose, right? We're just gonna like, oh god, this is this is gonna be either really good or really bad. Oh god, that's gonna be really bad. All right, well at least we know which our first six is gonna be. Oh god, no, no, please no, please no. Um, I kind of want to hold the sword, but I also want to do something. Yeah, we hold it. They just putting it on this is just not doing anything. Yep. Take a turn off. Take a turn off, Spiff. <gasps> they did. Oh, and now we have our warp card. Nope, but we we just can't let that. We we just can't let that keep going. All right, let's see if this is our comeback story, guys. We're at thirteen. Staring down an aggressive opponent. Public enemy number one in the form of Combre. Spiffy is stuck on power. Can we make it? All right, all right. So let's see what are we working with here. Okay, so if we journeyman now, right? 
Let's do some math for a second. If we journey them in here, this now means that they can no longer double block with this and they have to send these two guys in the way. I think that's actually kind of worth it, to be honest with you. And I could see a world where we also just play Mage Breaker to kill the other one. I really like this play, guys. We could also play here and swing, but the thing is, is that once again, they could double block and only lose one unit versus if we put the plus one here, they have to double block this way. And I think that is the more aggressive play, believe it or not. So, well, let's go shot. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, congrats, Jedi. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Brizzo, that's a massive, really cool. Thank you. Uh -huh, fair enough. If they suit one of these up race, it would be a lot tougher, but you can still get there. Yep. All right, let's do it. see if they'll probably just take it too and that's fine i think i'm still gonna kill one of their guys i want to be power efficient because our next two turns are going to be just charging their face no i think i like doing that because it gave us the option of potentially clearing the board as well all right there we go I think now we're in good shot. So we'll swing in with the, the baby grappler first. Okay. Okay, Tinker, they're looking for power. Uh, Go Dragon or God Ragon. Either or. Thank you so much for the follow, I'm glad. No blocks, so you're good to go anyways. Uh, armor, Mage Briga, uh, kill the 3-3. Three, three. All right, that's power. It doesn't do anything for us. Uh, either way, we're back in that same boat. Oh, I wish I could attack with this guy, but that stupid 2-5. All right, let's send in these guys. Send in the clowns. Yeah, so we're seeing the double block we expected. Yeah, I'm okay with that because then that means we could start ah, shoot So this is gonna sound really weird, but I'm actually oh man Because I actually want to kill the two five so then we could start swinging with our journeyman as well But I guess if we kill the paladin then they can't really kill this one so Yeah, all right cool. I'm glad you guys are with me on that and we'll play power because we have dragon, even though we haven't seen it. We just need a window to get in one hit. That's fine. We are low on power, but I think that's fine. Let's see. Do we... S yeah, we still don't swing. Sword might be the difference. Yeah, I'm fine with this. If they want to trade here, that's fine. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, we do lose the overwhelm, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I still think it's correct. We can race this. Let's see what their follow-up play is. Ah, that's a big boy. Ah, that's a big boy. Uh, sweet. So here we're going to kill the flyer and then we're just going to equip the sword here and make it huge. We can always chump block with this guy if we need to and then it forces them to have an answer every turn. This is also going to give us the opportunity to make the sword huge. So even if they have the Grodas favor next turn to silence it, ours can get in there. So let's do that first. They could still have a pump spell here. So, all right, they did not and they have to block this is lethal so these two will get in now yep sweet all right so let's see what happens they have to now we have multiple lethals on the board they have to yep got there whoo oh got there thanks clay hey, galactic starfish look at you lurking seeing it so uh, yeah, maybe we can have a meetup like the guys out in Cali did. Uh, but thank you, Hero. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. 
Uh, have you been listening to the podcast as well? Thank you again, Papa Capricorn. Like, it's awesome to hear someone of your caliber listens to the podcast. And then Brizo with the awesome compliment. I never thought I would ever hear that I have the best podcast ever. Seriously. Uh, we have a two and a three, and it makes our top ten cheaper. Yeah. I think this works for us. We'll keep this. Going up against Jason Paul. I don't know what hello he said, but... Uh, let's go ahead and play our depleted power. And... We're kind of on the fence, so let's go ahead and just get our second time source. Uh, I think I'd rather play our Vorlunk on curve than... I don't know. Okay, that's fine. We have units for the most part. There's our double fire, just the way we planned it out. All right. Oh, wait, can we break that? Yeah, we can break it next turn. Gangster! Oh. That's awesome, heavy metal. That is awesome. Oof. That thing's a little annoying, but I think we give it a turn. Let's see. So we three here, we four here, and then we play this. So we're actually not going to attack. Well, they're not going to block, right? They don't block that, do they? Yeah, let's slam. They're thinking about it. Wow, I'm going to feel a little silly. Actually, no, I'm okay with that trade. Their guys having quick draw, I feel like is a little worse. Um, let's go ahead and break their thing. Do, 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 do. And that's why that guy is good. That boy good. Of note, even though the Thrive Chaga Caller does give, uh, yeah, that's a that's a bit of an issue there. It's a, uh, uh, I guess. Oh, oh man. All right, let's see if they bite. I don't think they block here. Yes! Ooh! All the value. Sorry, guys. I nerded out. Sorry. That was a really horrible noise. You guys didn't hear that from me. Yeah, because next turn, we're just going to silence the target caller. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. We get the scout. Yeah, we're, we're past Kieran now. Now we just want to start growing gas. And we have five and six power. Oh, yeah. Oof. All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's why Inspire is so good. Man, I kind of want a Living Mountain or a Grappler here. I really do, but I think we're better off still silencing that thing. Uh, let me play our second silence here. We'll send it back. Uh, good news is Grodoff's favorite can attack here, and it would be a double block, and we get to kill both their guys. Uh, I'm having a blast. That is awesome, Heavy Metal. I'm so glad to hear it. Oh, Grappler, my bad, Extinction. Uh, yeah, I'm good with the trade here now. I'm fine with that. It's one less blocker. Um... Yeah, all these, ugh. Ah, the only problem with Grappler here is that it they have to double block, but it doesn't kill both. You know what I mean? I still think it's fine. You know what? Let's keep the pressure on. I think it's fine. I mean, dude, is there a world where they take this? No, right? I mean, that's 14 damage. They can't possibly take that. Maybe they do. Yeah, I can see that extinction. I can see that. I just like the, the like, Excellent. a rule of thumb that I have. Is nearing completion. Yeah, the, the rule of thumb I have. Uh, okay, that, that's not bad for them. That's not bad for them. The, uh, so yeah, the rule of thumb I normally do when I have a charge unit is that I play it last because it gives me the most tempo advantage, you know what I mean? Versus if we played it, like, it equals out the same amount of damage, but... Alright. Alright, come on, gas. You know what I mean? Because the thing is, the charge unit's gonna get in there right away. So I typically... Oh, if we're going to a top deck war, I think we have this. Oh, come on, deck. If they have a trick here, they have a trick here. Sweet. Wow, this deck is running really good. Mercurial, are you still in here? 
No kidding, Heavy. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm sorry. Pantry Barn. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm so sorry that I missed it. I apologize. But thank you. Uh, yeah, they're dead. When we would sit down and discuss things. Uh, I really don't like this hand, but we can pitch a power to ramp. I typically don't like keeping five power hands, but what do you guys think? Just because this can get us uh, a, an extra ramp. Uh, it's always nice hearing two different perspectives too. It's the best way to learn. Very true, Kid Plumber. All right, Chewbacca, have a safe night, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. I'm not super excited about this, but the fact that we can pitch a power to ramp a little bit kind of means that it's really a four power hand. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it could blow up in my face, but we'll see. Uh, the ECQ drops for very kind to me, and I got two free draft tickets. That is awesome, Sammy. Congrats. All right, Chewbacca, be safe getting home, friend. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you when you get uh, home, and if not, that's okay. All right, we have a little bit of a cushion with Edict, so that'd be kind of cool. We'll probably snap off the block here if they give it to us. Looks like we're going up against the mirror. Oh, no. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just Edict here. We won't ramp, we'll Edict. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I still like Edicting here, believe it or not. It sounds weird. Excellent. And it is throwing our power off a little bit. But I just... Because the problem is we could play Sharpshooter and they have an answer and then this thing gets huge. And I don't really like that. So I just like the idea of just cleanly dealing with it. I'm trying to think if there's anything Praxis can do to stop this. And I guess they could have the edict of their own. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna get rid of it now. I, I don't want to risk um Yeah, I just oh they could have done that. Yeah, okay, cool. Sweet. Uh let's see. So we're at four, five. So here I think we do ramp instead of sharpshooter because it lets us play our grappler a turn early. So I'm actually, well, that's an, that's an easy trade, right? They just take that trade. You know what though? I am gonna make that trade. And I'll tell you why. The reason why I'm gonna make this trade here is because I wanna keep the board as clear as possible to drop our grappler and get in there because now then they're gonna be on the back foot. So I like that. Uh, so let's get our power now. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll gain our extra life. We'll make this trade. It is a down trade for us, but I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and play our depleted power. We have all our colors. So I'm going to play primal just to have them worry about it the entire time. Uh, my thought was them knowing mastery can trigger on that attack changes how they have to think about blocks also. Uh, Jason Paul, thank you so much for the follow, friend. Good game. Yeah, good game for sure. I appreciate you swinging by the channel. That's mighty kind of you. Yeah, you had me scared very scared and we got our sword oh yeah we're going to town they missed power too so that's looking really good for us we might just run away with this game uh yeah man it, uh, that lathry target caller had me so worried jason paul it was well played on your part well played indeed uh we both just kind of ended up going to a top deck war and had a little bit better top decks than you is all what is up you stout it's always good to see oh we can dragon too we can dragon yeah but no we're just gonna put the nail on the coffin uh yeah we're just oh we can do both but yeah we're gonna we're just gonna grappler i'm telling you these grapplers with that sword like they have a mace in the artwork but i feel like they should they should really be carrying a sword tonight oh yeah this deck is just going off I think I like sword better. Oh yeah, that's right. We did destroy your unkindness. Yeah, that was kind of busted. I'm not gonna lie. That that was pretty pretty gangster. We got really lucky with that. Really lucky with that. Yeah, I agree, John Holio. I've actually been pretty low on sword, but holy poop, has this sword been doing some work? Um, I do not like this hand. I don't like two power on the play. Our deck is very aggressive. We do have a bunch of threes to get us there, but no, we're gonna go ahead and redraw this. It's good to see you, you stout. 
Oh no. All right, well, I guess we're going to six. This is three power, but not time. Uh, if not, this hand would have been perfect. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and redraw, go down to six. And this is, oh boy, that's not good. All right, let's see. Let's see if our slow deck can get there. We might actually play dragon this game. <laughs> and they have the one drop. Oh God, we're in such trouble. That's great. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Chastity. Yep. We need some gas. Oh boy, they're gonna curve out on us. <laughs> oh god, Dak. Alright. Oh, this thing's gonna get deadly. We're at least gonna be able to eat their Kirin. That deadly dude's gonna be a bit of an issue though. Oh, that's so funny. And I don't think that card's good at all. I really don't. That's fine. Please just slam. Just slam. Come on, wheels. Wheels 7403. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Harry? Harry would be pretty gangster here. I think we were still correct to, to mulligan both those games. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah. Oh no, that guy's gonna get huge. <laughs> oh man. All right. And we're missing our second fire. No, deck. why are you doing this? No, stop, stop. Deck, stop. <sighs> Just one turn too late. Um, hmm. You know what? Yeah, actually, we're gonna jam here. Oop. Now what's gonna happen is they're gonna attack with the flyer. They're gonna leave this guy back on defense. Then we're gonna silence it and swing again. Aww. That's no fun. Uh... <sighs> Do we have to chump block yet? That's a bummer. Oh, I guess we could just silence our guy. But I, I feel like I really want to silence their dude. <laughs> nice, Darth. Going to town. You guys are fantastic. It was bugging me that you reminded me of someone and it finally clicked who it was. You bear a striking similarity to Jay's, Jay's Two Cents, the tech YouTuber. I got a... Do uh, yeah, let's block. Oh, that's so awkward because we can actually just... Well, there's our fire source, so let's play that. All right, so I guess we just don't attack. Ugh. We takes damage. That just mer, mer. So what's the correct play here? Do we silence our guy? Or do we silence their guy? Do we just silence our guy, right? Because everything trades with that. And if we silence it, it's still a four or five. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. We're gonna silence our guy. That's what's up, buddy. What's up, bro? Now what? Oh. Oh. Alright. Okay. 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 Seems fine. Um. Yeah, we'll just let our... Let me see. So if we attack here... I kind of want to leave our Grodos favorite up, but I'm trying to think if we just jam. Uh, wait. No, we attacked. Oh, that's super cool, Darth. Yoda with the Santa. I like it. I like it. I got to check that out, Darkstone. Uh, so we for sure dragon. The only question is, do we slam with both? So this eats this, and then they they still can't kill that. I think so, right? If we just push with this, is there a world where we wait? It's one extra damage. I don't think that's the difference. <laughs> oh man, you guys are great. Yeah, let's just drop dragon. Excellent. And you know what? That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. They're gonna block here. They're still gonna have to figure out whether they want to take five or not. I think that's correct. Ooh, what? They took it? All right, well, that's that's hatchling, right? It's either hatchling or daggers. They can make a 1-1 one -one here, potentially. 
Okay, it's Hatchling. Uh, so they can't block Dragon. And if they block with everything, they could kill the... Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're just... We're just A-spacing till, till we win. Okay, that's really good for us. Yes, chump blocking is really good. Because now, yeah, they can't keep up with us. This is great. This is great. You guys are fantastic, man. Uh, this dragon is about to ruin this wheel's curl career. Uh, so let's see what's up. Do we hold dragon here? No, because they have to bl double block, chump block. We lose dragon, which is a little poopy. But then everything else gets through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. We still just say space. They'll double block dragon, chump block the five, take the two, go to five. But they lose their whole board. They're still stuck on power. I think that's correct. And now we have two forms of lethal again. So they have to play a unit and answer a unit. Oh wait, where's my peanut butter jelly? There we go. Uh, uh, uh. What? Oh holy crap! That was a seven and zero. Oh. Yes. Oh, you guys were here for that. Oh, that is awesome. All right. So it's bugging me. J two cents. Hmm. Interesting. Oh wow, this deck is busted. When I do the draft and I'll be live on Discord just because it'll be easier for me to uh, have five feedback. Yeah, for sure, Sammy. Uh, half the gang's here, so, oh, sorry. Uh